In life, we often take advantage of the things in our daily lives. We distract ourselves with work, relationships, and many other things, leaving us to forget about the impact our daily lives have on this world and the next generation that we are leaving it behind to. Molding our footprint on this earth, creating a change for all organisms on earth, and often not a good one. The Organization of Worldwide Fund of Nature, or WWF, is fighting to change all these things, from climate change to protecting the important species on this planet. We don't see the change we are making, but it is indeed big. Animals and the life around us play a much bigger role in our lives than we realize. The only way to stop this is to learn of the things we are doing wrong. Today, I will be sharing of the different effects that we are causing on the world and species of this world. The first being that climate change caused by humans is picking up way more than we realize. Day after day, we proceed to change the world from just the basic day-to-day -day parts of our lives. Yet you don't see people changing their lives or attempting to make a difference in the world and attempting to change these things that we are doing. The National Research Council, in an article titled What's Happening and Why, stated many lines of evidence demonstrate that human activities, especially emissions of heat trapping greenhouse gases from fossil fuel combustion, deforestation, and land use change are primarily responsible for the climate changes observed in the industrial era, especially over the last six decades. This is crazy how we have been changing the world so dramatically by doing little to make this difference or to stop this. All these things explained here are leading to melting of glaciers and parts of the oceans needed by animals, as you can see in this picture I will be showing you. Flooding is occurring more and more and seasons are changing, growing longer or shorter, starting earlier and later, and the things may not seem like big changes but are. It isn't just changing our way of life, but it is changing all organisms' lives which can be a devastating thing for us in the end. Which leads me to my next point. Even if we are going, we are okay with affecting our environment and having changes to our way of life, we should also respect and understand there are many other species on this planet that we are affecting in a bad way and who can't adapt as well or as in as short of a period as us. Even if you don't love animals, the more we affect their lives and push change on them, the harder and harder our lives become. We can't afford to lose mo almost any of the other species on this planet. They all play a huge role in our lives. Bigger roles than many of us even realize. If we begin to not care, we could jeopardize our very existence. According to the National and Human Impacts of Wildlife by NHPBS, we as humans pollute habitats. We illegally hunt and kill animals. We bring exotic species into habitats. All these activities take resources and habitats away from plants and animals. This is crazy how we can all do all these things but not make a stop or a change to any of this. I know we may not all haunt or we may not pollute as much as other people do, but in the end, we are all making a difference. We are all creating negativity on these animals and these species around me. And the question that I'm asking is, when are we going to address these issues? When are we going to make a change? I really have no clue, but I hope it is sometime soon. With my last point, I would like to speak on the fact that cutting down all these forests is not good for the world. I understand we continue to grow as a nation and need more resources and land to expand, but when does it when does it stop? When do we finally step up and find a way to do this without harming our world and the animals in our world? When we take our force for our own benefit, we are not only endangering or killing off certain species, we are also playing a huge role in climate change, which is exactly why we need to learn to do this without causing so much destruction and chaos. We must learn to adapt so we don't kill other species and don't speed up climate change. In an article by Sonia Madden titled, How Does Deforestation Affect Climate Change? She stated, not only this could lead to an increase in rate of deforestation quickly and easily, lead to the loss of many different species of plant, tree, and animal, a lot of which are yet to be discovered. It could also have a devastating effect on the climate. In this quote, you can see how much of a factor we play on all the animals and organisms around us. I mean, how are we supposed to advance as a country if we are killing off many creatures and leading to speeding up climate change? It is just mind boggling we would do these things and not care that we would destroy other species in their land for our own selfish reasons. Here are some of the species we have killed off already. I'm ready to take a step of action to change. I know many people aren't making a change. And many people aren't stepping up, but we need to we need to make a difference or this will never change. We will never grow as a country and we will never save these animals and ourselves in the end unless we make a difference.